Hello everyone, this is Prompt Engineer. We are in a world that has been transformed by the power of large language models. We find ourselves amidst an explosive growth of these remarkable creations with companies like OpenAI, AI21, Cohere, and many more such companies offering them as groundbreaking services. The allure of using these large language models for massive scale application in commerce, science, and finance is undeniable. They bring unprecedented performance to tasks such as answering questions, revolutionizing how we interact with information. But my friends, uh, there is a catch. Harnessing the immense power of these models for high throughput applications can come at an astonishing cost. For example, ChatGPT alone is estimated to cost over a staggering 700,000 US dollars per day to operate. And for small businesses seeking to provide top-notch customer service with GPT-4, for example, they may face monthly costs exceeding 21,000 US dollars. The ramifications extend further. The sheer size and utilization of these colossal language models have significant environmental and energy consequence affecting the well-being of our society and the world we leave for future generations. Now this is huge. Can we have something that will ease the cost of the LLMs and still provide us the benefits that this LLM provides? Fear not, for researchers and visionaries are hard at work addressing these challenges head on. And this paper is an attempt to do just that. So today we are going to look at this wonderful paper titled Frugal GPT, how to use large language models while reducing cost and improving performance. Let's move on to the paper. Let's get started with this paper. This is a paper from Stanford University titled Frugal GPT, how to use language models while reducing cost and improving performance. Now with the advent and introduction of large language models, it is very well, it is very evident that we have different pricing structures for different models. For example, in this table, we see five number of providers, service providers or LLM providers, and the there are 12 APIs which has been studied. We can see that the cost requirement uh, consists of three components. The first is uh, input tokens. The next is output tokens. It depends on the length of the outputs. Input tokens depends on the length of your prompt. And in a few cases, there's a requirement of cost involved for each request. For example, in AI21 provider, we have 0.0003 US dollars for every request that you give to the API. However, it doesn't have any input tokens cost. Also, the costliest among all of these 12 APIs is the GPT-4. This is the price structure of different providers of API, different API providers for the large language models. Now, having said that, let's move on to this graph. This graph shows the performance on the or the accuracy on the y-axis and cost in the x-axis. It is very evident that GPT-4, the cost, although the cost of GPT-4 is on the higher side, but it has a pretty good accuracy. Now these other models, which are of lower cost, gives different accuracy values. Now it is up to you to decide which API service providers to use. But this paper focuses on developing a model which will use all these APIs. It will actually decide which API to use and the new GPT that the paper has termed is the frugal GPT. So if you see in this graph, the accuracy of frugal GPT is on the higher side, even higher than GPT-4. And we can even bring down the cost to a very low value. Now in the traditional sense, in the existing LLM usage, what you would do is that you would put in a query to an LLM provider, in this case GPT-4, and then you get an answer. But the proposed frugal GPT will use these three methodologies to improve the cost or to lower the cost and to improve the accuracy. It is going to use so many LLMs. It is actually going to decide which LLM to use. We're going to use different 
strategies such as zero shot, few shot, or chain of thoughts strategies. And then it would also have a limitation on the budget which you are going to specify. And it will naturally take in the query of the users and would spit out an answer. So this is the basic template that the proposed Frugal GPT is based on. Now, as we've already seen in the first diagram, the price of any LLM has three components. The first is the prompt cost. That is the cost which is proportional to the length of the prompt. Next is the generation cost, which is proportional to the length of the generated output. And there is fixed cost per query. Now, it has given an example. For example, the prompt cost of 10 million tokens is 30 US dollars for OpenAI's GPT-4 but only 0.2 dollars for GPTJ hosted by TechSynth. So in this paper, they have laid their vision on a flexible framework that uses LLM API, APIs, different LLM APIs, to process natural language queries within a budget constraint. And the, the GPT or the method, the framework that they have termed as the frugal GPT. The different strategies that they have used, the first is the prompt adaptation. This is used to identify the effective or shorter prompts to save cost. Basically, we want to reduce or minimize the size of the prompts. The next strategy is LLM approximation. Here, we try to create simple LLMs that will match the performance of a powerful yet expensive LLM on specific cases. The third method is LLM cascading. Here we adaptively, adaptively choose which LLM APIs to use for our specific purposes and for different queries. Now, an example would be a good way to look into. Suppose a company, you know, a small business operates a customer service using GPT-4. The company caters to 15,000 customers every month with each customer asking three questions twice a week totaling of 360,000 queries per month. Suppose for each question, its corresponding prompt averages 1,800 tokens, and the answer is around 80 tokens. So the cost for GPT-4 would be 0.03 per 1,000 tokens and 0.06 per 1,000 tokens for the inputs and the outputs respectively. And the total cost would be about $21,000. Now such a cost is very high for a small business. Now if you want to run a small business, how to minimize the cost? We have a solution here and this is what we are going to talk about now as you have seen we have basically three strategies that can be used to reduce the cost the first strategy is the prompt adaptation the next is the llm approximation and the third is the llm cascading now here are the five strategies so the first is prompt selection next one is query concatenation. So these two strategies fall under the category of prompt adaptation because the prompts are adapted here. The prompts are shortened and minimized. For example, in the prompt selection, the first one, if we give a prompt in the sense of what is the result of end-to-end -end, uh, O2 at high temperature here, and we give the prompt in this sense with four question and answers. Now we can modify the prompt to contain only two question and answers because the methodology decides that only those two are relevant in this context. So here we are, we are reducing the size of the prompt. And then example, here query concatenation. We have two different questions with two prompts, Q&A <clears throat> of four different examples of Q&A for the two prompts. In this case, we can combine the two questions together and give only two sets of questions and pass it to GPT and get the answer. The next is, the second strategy was LLM approximation. So here, for example, completion cache. So we have a cache memory here previous queries, the results of the previous queries are stored in the cache. For any new queries, cache is searched first for any answers. And if there's nothing in the cache, we go and search for the fresh results. That's simple. Fine-tune modeling. Here, we initially used a higher cost or higher accuracy, for example, GPT-4 model to train a model, to train, for example, GPT-J, because this is a lower cost. And then we use for any subsequent prompts, we use this fine-tuned model, GPTJ, which is a lower cost, to get the results. The last one is LLM cascade. So here, what the system would decide is that first, it will ask the lower cost, GPTJ in this case, for the answer. 
and if the score is less than 0.5 it will move on to the next higher performing LLM which is GPT-4 in this example sorry GPT-3 in this example and if the score is even not acceptable in this case it will move ultimately to GPT-4 and get the answer so this strategy basically will select which LLM APIs to use so you have to give it the permission to use all the LLMs and from all those LLMs it would manually or it would iteratively and you know select the LLM cascade method will select which of the LLM APIs to use uh, for bringing down the cost and improving the performance. So the strategies are given here is that prompt adaptation, LLM approximation, LLM cascade. Now there are three goals that has been listed for frugal GPT LLM. The first is understand, understand first is understand what a simple instantiation of LLM cascade learns. The next is quantify the cost savings attained by frugal GPT while matching the best individual LLM APIs performance. Then measure the trade-off between the performance and the cost. Now regarding the data set, they have actually used three number of data sets for conducting this study. The first data set is headlines, which is a finance data set. The next data set is overruling, which is a law data, data set. The next is COQA. It is a passage reading data set. And using these three data sets, they have experimented and found the accuracy of the frugal GPT and uh, found that there is substantial cost reduction. For example, here in the financial news or in the headlines data set, when they trained the or when they when they found out the performance of frugal GPT with respect to GPT-4, uh, we find that there is a cost reduction of about one fifth of the cost of GPT-4 and there is an improvement of accuracy of about 1.5%. Now in certain cases, the GPT-4 even got some wrong results, but Frugal GPT was able to accurately bring it out. Now again, this strategy that will be implemented is that the learned Frugal GPT strategy will first try on a, a lower cost LLM provider. And if the score is less than 0.96 in this case, if it is yes, then it will move on to the next higher accurate or higher cost LLM. And if the accuracy is even not satisfied, it will move on to GPT-4. Now you can go through this paper. It is amazing because it was able to bring down the cost to a very lower value. For example, here, there are different data sets, three data sets. The best individual LLM for each of the data sets is given here. Cost to reduce the same. So this is the cost for GPT-4 for the headlines data set. And the frugal GPT was able to reach the same accuracy with just 0.6 US dollars. Now that's a cost saving of about 98.3%. For the overruling data set, the cost saving was 73.3%. And COQA, the cost saving was 59.2%. So I am loving this because this new technology is providing us a path to use GPT-4 and other APIs collectively to form your own API or you to form your own GPT, frugal GPT, that will reduce your cost to a large extent. Now, everything comes with its own benefits and uh, there are always limitations that will definitely be there for any new technology. However, this technology is improving and we will see more of such technologies in the future. But talking about this technology, there are certain limitations. For example, latency, fairness, privacy and environmental impact has not been talked about. There are other promising strategies such as speeding up attention computation itself. But the goal of this paper was to lay a foundation for this important research and I thank the authors for that because it provided us a way to think about, you know, a way to move forward to continue with our research and design better and more better things with reduced cost and improved accuracy now i will put up a link of this paper in the description section now i urge you to have a look at this paper because this is an amazing paper that you can have your hands on so again frugal gpt can match the performance of the best individual llms with up to 98 percent cost reduction and improve the accuracy of gpt4 by four percent with the same cost this is huge Thanks for tuning in. 
this was frugal gpt by prompt engineer if you liked this video if you like this slow video <laughs> then please like and share this video to your friends and families please consider subscribing to my channel as that would help me boost my morale for creating such interesting videos in future as well signing off prompt engineer have a nice day thank you bye bye